<clears throat> hey guys, I, f I figure it's about time for another sit-down, considering quite a few things have developed since the last sit-down. Quite a few, actually. First off, I want to uh, bring up the fact that I just crossed over into a thousand videos. Yeah, believe it or not, it's, it's, it took me like over two years, but Jesus God, guys. I never thought it would take this long, but still, it's a crowning achievement to make over 1,000 Let's Play videos. I just wanted to let you guys know that, first of all. Because <laughs> I put a lot of effort into making these videos, even though like I do realize some of them are have a lot of technical problems. In fact, next order, I know like my commentary volume is not high enough on some of them when I use the uh, snowball mic. Which I'm never using again, by the way. It's headsets for the win, for, for now on. So yeah, I also know they're prevalent in Prey, and then there's Until Dawn, two videos Until Dawn, you, can, you can't hear me at all. And also, the last two videos of CyberSoof, the OG CyberSoof, by the way, there's a problem with the frame rates. I'm just, like, stunned for words at how many problems there are with my videos. I know some of you say, like, oh, it's okay, this stuff happens, but I know, it's, it's annoying, though, because it ruins the experience to, not be able to watch these videos. In some cases, yeah, I could refilm them or try to edit them, but I don't know anything about video editing. And that's a problem. I mean, I don't even own a video editing software. I have Windows Movie Maker as the, as the default. And I tried looking at things that could fix frame rates. I found one Windows-based app where you just upload a video and you lower the um, resolution. I was hoping that would fix my CyberSuit videos. It didn't. <laughs> I've already all the way down to 480 resolution, and it's still stuttering. So, yeah. So that's part 6970, in case you're wondering. But, I am trying to make things better. I am looking at each video before I upload it, and so far it's been pretty smooth sailing, for the most part. And that there's no technical problems, there's no lagging, there's no... Uh, the, you could hear me clearly enough, so yeah. But still, I think a thousand videos is something to really be happy about, because a lot of people don't make a thousand videos. I won't say a lot of people, but you know what I'm saying. It just it, it just takes a very long time to make a thousand videos, and I'm very happy to have finally achieved that. They're not all upload on this. Uh, they're all upload on my channel, but they're not all public yet. If you know what I mean, because I have to. With my uploads, because before I would just upload whenever I was done the day, whatever amount that would be. In fact, one day I believe I uploaded seven videos, and I feel that was really disrespectful to the fan base. Because you know, they say you, the average person in their lifetime will spend one third of their life sleeping, they will spend one third of their life working, and that leaves only one third of their life for every fucking other thing they have to do with their lives, whether it be leisure activities running errands, paying bills, blah, blah, blah. So, I imagine we're, just all, we're all compressed for time. So how much of that time can you spend watching me compared to everything else you gotta do in your goddamn life? Not to mention, are people you probably watch on YouTube? Because I'm probably not the only person you watch on YouTube. That's, that's an impossibility, right? So yeah, I was overwhelming you guys, and I'm sorry about that. So, I'm not gonna overwhelm you guys anymore. That's why I up my uploads to only two per day. I do it every night, well, I would say every night for the past few weeks, I've been just doing two uploads a day. So this way, you guys don't have to feel overwhelmed to watch everything I do. And it's a nice pace. So the, even if you do have enough time to watch everything I do, you know, you're still getting a steady influx of content every day. It's like two videos. I mean, how many people upload two videos a day in as part of the Let's Play field? I don't think too many. In fact, on the, uh, what's it, the subreddit I browse, the Let's Play subreddit for advice... A lot of people say they only upload like one or two or three times a week. I'm uploading two videos per day, and that's that's pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Although it still pains me to see channels that have less videos than me, and they're just killing it on YouTube. It doesn't even matter if it's less player way of them. I found one channel with like 27 videos, a makeup tutorial channel, and they have over 10,000 subscribers, over 27 videos. How the fuck does that happen? I mean, I get their different genres, maybe different strokes for different folks, but still. You'd think after a thousand videos, I'd be somewhere in like the 5,000 range at least, but I know it's not, just not the way it works. doesn't matter how much content you upload, nobody's going to watch you. 
nobody's going to like you, and nobody's going to sub to you. So yeah, it's a problem. Although I am pleased to report I've gotten about 10 subs in the past 28 days, which is pretty impressive. I think that's the biggest sub increase within that time period I've ever had on my channel. So yeah, welcome everybody. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Also, some I've been um, tinkering with my current videos a bit. If you look at some things, you notice that I'm not I'm not putting titles in anymore, like "Worst Rage of My Life" or "Level Five" or whatever it is. Like I'm not putting titles in anymore. I'm gonna delete all the titles. I just feel that it's not necessary to make a title for every video. I mean, whatever I come up with, you guys are not gonna be searching by the title. You're gonna be searching by SEO terms, like if the campaign is blind, if the campaign is on the hardest difficulty, if the campaign is on a certain system. You know, that's why I'm putting all these SEO terms in the title instead of an actual name for the title. So yeah, the titles are going away, and hopefully that'll bring in some new fresh blood, I'm hoping. Because when people search for a new game, or, or like a game, or any sort of thing, they're not going to be searching by Worst Rage of My Life, or... The Banjo Kazooie, uh, the, the, the defeat the witch. You know they're not going to be doing that. They're going to be searching by specific key phrases. So I'm thinking, why waste space with the title when I could just pop it up with SEO terms? You know that's what. So that's what I'm going to do now. Also trying some new experiments too. I, people have always been telling me, "Dig, your videos are too long. You got to cut them down." And I don't agree with that statement at all. I mean, many of the well-established people I see on YouTube with millions of subs in the Let's Play field, they don't do relatively short videos. In fact, their fan base screams for them, make them longer. That's why you'll see, like, Jack Septic Guy with Undertale videos, the later ones anyway, they're pretty damn long. Especially when he did the genocide run, like, he filled himself for over an hour trying to just do it. In fact, he said in a later video, I believe him reacting to Watch Mojo's Jacksepticeye 10 most popular videos, I think it was, that it took him four hours to beat Sans, which I think is pretty remarkable. Um, I don't know, I wouldn't say bad, but considering I beat him blind in 80 minutes, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know what to, how to compare that, but anyway, I don't want to diss on Jacksepticeye. I think he's a very funny and entertaining person who deserved all the amount of subs that he's gotten. Even though a lot of people hate him. Which is weird. I don't understand why people hate other YouTubers. Especially if they're not involved in any scandals or anything. In fact, I've, I came across one channel that says, Oh, yeah, I hate Jeff Set the Guy. Jeff Set the Guy sucks. So if someone, some douche named Dylan the Hacker. Why do you hate Jack Set the Guy? Why do you hate Markiplier? Why do you hate PewDiePie? I don't get it. But anyway, I'm, I'm going off track here. So, in regarding the length of the videos, I tried on three separate occasions to film for an hour, and then just chop it up into three 20-minute videos. I did that for three times, uh, so I have like nine videos total in that setup, and it, it, I didn't like it. I just need it as an experiment mostly. They're on the channel, so you will see them at some point when I get around to uploading them in the order that I complete them. But yeah, like just film for 20 minutes, then stopping, and then with an end screen, and then immediately resuming after that point, without any intro or outro, it just felt so unnatural to me, guys. I'm not going to do that anymore. You will have to sift through it for nine videos, but after that, I'm going back to my old-fashioned thing with an intro and outro, and ending at a good point, you know? Also on that note, I am going to try and trim the video's length just a bit. I... Some people say, like, three minutes is fine, or people saying, like, three minutes is too long, so I'm gonna try and lower it a bit. I don't know who's calling me, someone's leaving a message. Anyway, I'm gonna try and leave it to, like, the 25 to 30 minute range, if possible. Now, I can't always guarantee that the video will be in that range, because, you know, I like to save with checkpoints. And not every game lets you save whenever you feel like it. Even if they do what you save when you feel like it, you might be involved in the fight at that point. I'm not going to just end the game in the midst of a fight, because that would just leave me very awkward for when I restart the game, you know? So yeah, if you, uh, don't look forward to the 20-minute segments that I filmed, because it's not going to happen. It's going to be at least 25 minutes, as best I can manage. 
I also realized that I sometimes leave the videos off in weird places, like I'll be in the midst of a mission, I'll just stop it and just resume it. I'm going to try and stop that too. I like to complete something, you know? In fact, with my latest Perfect Dark Let's Play, which I... Technically, I just uploaded part one of it yesterday. But in my recent most filmed segments of that, I just filmed like for 19 minutes or 20 minutes, and... That's the thing with the Rage Games, guys. I was asking for feedback about this. I haven't got... I've gotten zero feedback on this issue. When I play a Rage... Not so much a Rage game, but any sort of game where I have to replay for the levels consistently and constantly, do you want me to leave all the losses into the video, or do you just want me to cut to when I actually beat the video? I mean, not the video, the game, the level. Because this is something I've been struggling with a lot. In fact, my GoldenEye Let's Play is completely done. I beat the entire campaign and the two bonus missions on double O agent difficulty. I'm not unlocking all the cheats. So don't ask me to do that. Please. But yeah, that was a huge struggle to play the game on double O agent difficulty again. In fact, the control mission, which is the third to last mission in the campaign, that took me over three hours. I'm not kidding. It took me over three hours to beat that fucking mission. And I only left in, like, my first attempt, and then the last attempt, which I actually beat. But yeah, if you guys want to see losses kept in, you gotta let me know, because I don't know how to do this exactly. Especially with the older titles, like Goldeneye, Perfect Dark, which I'm now playing. Because it takes me... Playing on the hardest difficulty, it takes me several, 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 several attempts to actually beat the level, because it's just so difficult, you know? That's what retro gaming was. No checkpoints, no regenerating health, and no guidance to read what you're supposed to be doing in the mission. So that's just the way it is. So please let me know in, for the future if you want me to keep all my losses in, or just maybe skip out the losses just a bit, or just cut them entirely. I really, really need to know this. Because I don't want to bore you guys with a whole bunch of losses, but at the same time, if you want to see the losses, you got. Um, I'm more than happy to leave them in. If you want, you just got to let me know. Okay? Alright, and then there's another thing I want to talk about, too. The fact that I'm only playing a lot of old games, which I've been criticized a lot for, it's not that I just like old games, it's just that I grew up with the era of old games, and I'm just familiar with them more. No, I was born in 84, by the way, and my very first system was the NES. I believe I got it in December of 1990, when I was about to be phased out by the SNES. But anyway, my folks got for the holiday season. It did not come with Rob the Robot. This was the NES edition, which came with two controllers, the Zapper, the Mat, and the compilation cartridge of Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, and World Quest Track Me. So yeah, I've been gaming for a very long time. In fact, since uh, 90 to 2000, 2010. I've been gaming for nearly 29 years now. Jesus Christ. That's just like a mind blow. Poof. I do like new stuff, guys. If you look at my channel, I have played current-gen games. I tried to play some of them like when they first come out. It hasn't really fared well with any, any better than some of my retro stuff when you look at it. I played Super Smash Bros. I did one video of, on that. I mean, the newest Super, Super Smash, obviously. I bought on launch day, I played it on launch day, I blow it on launch day, it didn't really get that much attention. I also played Red Dead Redemption 2, I bought it like three days after launch, uploaded that three days after launch, the same, same day, I filmed five parts of that, and that didn't really get much attention either, even though it was still in the limelight at that point. So yeah, I completely disagree with the notion that you only have to play new games to get attention, I, I thumbs down to that. I think you can make a channel of any sort of games, or as long as you're interesting enough, you know? But on the subject of new games, guys, it's the dead period in the year right now. Before E3, when there's nothing really coming out. So that's why I'm focusing on this old stuff now, because there's nothing new I really want to play. If there is a new title, I will play it if I'm interested, but otherwise, I don't see the need to spend $60 on something that's not going to grow my channel anyway, you know? So yeah, that's why that's the main reason I'm not focusing on new stuff right now. I mean, E3 is just around the corner. It comes out in June, I believe. I don't know when in June, but June at some point. 
I know PlayStation is skipping it this year, but Microsoft is scheduled to have a huge briefing. Hopefully, we'll hear um, some news about the new Xbox, which I'm obviously going to get. I'm also going to get the new PlayStation. And whatever they announced it. I mean, they haven't formally announced them yet, even though we know, we know they're in the development. But as far as release dates or tie, um, release dates or pricing go, we have no idea. But there is new stuff I'm looking forward to, by the way. I'm looking forward to The Last of Us Part 2. I would definitely play that. Maybe Death Stranding. I'm not sure, because that seems... It's rumored that's going to be an MMO. Or some multiplayer-focused title, which I'm not really interested in. If it's multiplayer-based. I don't know. We'll have to see about that one. What else? Well, there's a whole bunch of stuff coming out, guys. We know it's coming out, but we'll play it by ear when, when, whenever they come out. Right now is a real dead period. All that's coming out now that I'd be interested in is some digital only titles, which I don't. Indie titles, by the way. Which I know I do enjoy indie titles if they're done well, but nothing really is on the radar for the moment. I check every week. I do, by the way. I did download something called My the, My Big Sister, uh, which is only about $5. It's supposed to be some M rated pixelated puzzle game. I could play that if you want, but I was going to save that for a bit because I'm so swamped right now with current stuff. But yeah, I'll definitely get, definitely get to that at some point. It only takes about four hours based on what I've read online. No plot details, of course. Um, what else do I want to discuss? Anything on on the horizon? Hmm. Well, I do have more t- uh, games planned, guys. I'm, uh, they're a secret for now. You'll see them when they come out. Right now, I have over 30 videos that are ready to go. They're all set up. They have, the thumbnails are made. The tiles are made, descriptions, all that jazz. I'm just, and I'm uploading them in the order of the oldest to the newest. So that way... Yeah, they don't sit there forever. So just bear that in mind that they're gonna go in order of the filming date. You know, I'm gonna limit to two per day, unless you guys really want me to upload more than two per day. Just let me know, and I'll more than happily upload three or four or five, whatever you want. I mean, it's up to you guys. I just figured two would be a good number to settle on, so you guys don't feel overwhelmed. I'm also gonna um, do a major overhaul of my thumbnails, uh, which I know I keep doing. In fact, I've done over 20 already, <laughs> which is really sick when you consider I, I started in the 500 range when I was in videos, and the times 500 times 20, that's over, like, the same amount of thumbnails. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going away on the 19th of May. Actually, I'm going to visit my father in Seattle. Don't worry, though. I can upload stuff from my iPad, so don't worry about missing out on uploads. So yeah, the flight... I live in New York, so the flight is like six to seven hours. <laughs> I know, it's insane. Insanely long flight, but... Since, I have, since I'm flying JetBlue, they have free Wi-Fi, so I'm going to work on my thumbnail overhaul on the flight there or back, maybe. We'll see. And also, I'm going to work on tags. I know tags are very important. I do think I'm doing the wrong tags, because right now I'm doing the same tags for... Every video, unless it's something different I'm doing in the video, I feel that's not way, not the way to go. So I started with Perfect Dark. I did Fear Files. Um, the tags are all set on that. I just finished Banjo-Kazooie, and we have a lot more to go from there. But I'm going to try to make tags specific to the video. Instead of just saying, like, let's play, gameplay, playthrough, I'm going to put in tags that are relevant to each video. So that means a major overhaul of the tag system, which is going to take me like maybe several weeks to get done. But I'm going to do it. It's worth it if it brings in more fans. More potential subs, you know? Because right now, I'm not ranking for any of those tags that I'm putting in, which is obvious, because I'm being outranked by all the other people playing the game who are more established. So I figure if I do like other terms, like... Banjo-Kazooie Mad Monster Mansion, or Banjo-Kazooie Ending, Banjo-Kazooie Secret Ending, Banjo-Kazooie Gruntilda Final Fight. I figured that more people will be searching for those types of terms instead of just the generic Let's Play terms. So we'll see how that goes. So yeah, the thumbnail overhaul is, com- thumbnail overhaul is coming. I'll, I'll work on that on the 19th when I'm on the plane. And hopefully within 6 or 7 hours I'll get the whole thing done, and hopefully not have to worry about it. 
because I have a great, I have a very great program on my iPad that must be has an auto contrast setting, which really makes the pictures look very sharp. Yeah, it's got, each video is, is going to have a bor- thumbnail. I mean, it's going to have a border, a part number, the logo, and a, and the background. So I'm hoping that settling on this final, not so much final, but layout will just end it. And I won't have to worry about redoing these fucking thumbnails ever again because I'm kind of sick of it. But yeah, I'm willing to do what's necessary to grow the channel. I really want to become... Not so much like a career or like a huge success. I just want a decent following, you know? At least the threshold to monetize, you know, which is 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours of watch time for the year. Which seems like a far-off dream at this point. I only have 157 subs at the moment. And I only have 2,200 hours of watch time. Which is only a bit more than half of what I need. Of course, I don't blame any of you guys for it. I know you're trying; you're probably trying to give me as much support as you can. It's not like you can watch my videos 24-7. I get that. I get that. You know, you're just trying to watch me whenever you can. Or at the very least, I'd hope you'd watch me whenever I can, so that the watch time leads to more recommended feeds, popping up in recommended videos, and then more people will see me. You know, that's the key. It no more comes down to views so much. It comes down to watch time. That's what I read online with all the... How to grow your channel stuff. Watch time is specific. I think my parents just came home actually. Hey Stevie. Yeah I think they're home. So. Yeah that's pretty much all I had to say at the moment. We're approaching 22 minutes. That's fine. So yeah. This is shorter than the last vlog. But I I have to make them. Because I don't have a community tab. So stay tuned for more information. More videos. More fun. Am I right? <laughs> And I'll see you guys back in my West Place, okay? Take care.